we find some place we can use yet? No, I'm texting Tammy again. She's leaving me on red. <sighs> hey, you, uh, you need me to do something, you know, to help you cry? Like what? Or I'll pinch you or slap you or something. Frank and Monica were my parents. I can remember anything from my childhood, and I can cry. Right, yeah, no, okay. That's good, come on. Jesus. You lost? Hi, no, um, my sister was supposed to get married this afternoon, but the hall burned down. So we are desperate to find some place to hold the ceremony. You gotta talk to the boss. Over here? Bye. Mrs. Wojcik. That's me, honey. Hi. Uh, yeah, we have an emergency situation, and you may be the only person in Chicago who can make it right. The senior's happy hour at 4.30, so okay. they just got to play some polka, and I had to guarantee we'd spend at least 300 bucks at the bar. Oh, and, uh, Mickey might have to marry Debbie instead of Ian. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, it's definitely not Gay Pride Day over there, so we told Wojcik that Debbie was the bride, and she was going to marry a nice Polish boy named Michael. <laughs> yeah. V, I need a wedding dress in a hurry. Do you know anyone who's got one laying around? Closet diva rinse wedding dresses. Cool. Okay, come on, man. We gotta get these flowers, chairs, all this shit over the Polish doll. Can your truck? Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Carl, lend a hand. Hell yeah. Thanks, bud. Wait, wait. What? Mickey's marrying Debbie? Yeah, don't worry. I'll figure out something to do with the old bat when we get over there. And, uh, you know, shit goes sideways. Mickey marries Debbie. We have a big fucking party anyway. Good. Okay, so uncuff Mickey, get your clothes. We only got a couple hours. Let's fucking go. Your teen stalkers 